Hey up guys, thank you for joining me. Now it's been increasingly difficult in the UK to get hold of materials due to coronavirus lockdown. So I've set myself a challenge this week of only making something out of scrap material. Now the thing I need to make is a workshop stool. I've not had one for a while and it's caused me problems when I've wanted to do things like TIG welding and stuff like that. So I've gathered up some examples of some scrap material that I've got lying around the workshop I've got some wheels, I've got some bits of scrap metal, bits of wood, things like that, and I'm going to see if I can make this into a decent enough workshop stool. Now the scrap that I've got to work with isn't that bad. I've even got some casters which will be really useful as having a stool on wheels will be really beneficial in a workshop that's so small like mine. Another thing I've got is this threaded bar. Now this will allow me to have a seat that is height adjustable, so that's quite valuable. And another thing that I've got is this huge piece of box section. Now that means I should have enough material to have three legs of box section coming off a single stem and each one of those having a wheel on. So my first port of call is to start measuring up and cutting the box section. So we've got one side of the wheel frame welded up. Now I want to talk to you about this thread. I've popped a nut on like that and then I've got this big penny washer. I'm just going to stick that over the top and then put another nut on there just to the end and tighten them two together. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld this nut to the threaded bar so that it can't go anywhere, so it acts like a cap. And then I'm gonna tighten this one up to it and may even stick a few tacks just along this edge just to keep that in place as well. Then I'm gonna take this big penny washer, lay it over the remaining triangular hole, weld around the penny washer, welding it to the box section. This will sort of give it a nice housing so it will remain upright. I'm gonna take this circular hollow section here and pop that over the top. I can weld around that. If you imagine this seat as an example, this seat post will then have a bolt welded to it at the bottom, which will then allow us to screw it on, reaching the height. We'll cut, cut off the um, threaded bar to this sort of height. Then you can move it sort of up and down um, via twisting it and it will raise and lower the height of the seat. Thank you. 
now we've got the parts cut and them holes are countersunk, I can add the pipe to the flat piece of the bracket. Now it's going to go in that hole there and then I can just stick on the square, magnetic square and it'll hold it at 90 degrees. Once I've welded around this edge, I can weld around the top and once we cut the MDF, we can pop a hole in there so that this protrusion will fit inside that hole. Now that we've got the plate and post welded together, I need to talk to you about this joint. Now, although it's welded both sides and it seems pretty strong, when you're sat on this seat, if there's any uneven pressure, so you're sat further on one side of the post than the other, that's going to put a lot of strain on this joint. So in order to prevent it from failing, I've made these. All these are is some sheet metal triangles with the top bit filed off so that there's some clearance for the weld. Now, I intend to weld these on like so, at regular intervals, say quarters, and what that will do is that will help spread the stress throughout the whole bracket, rather than all of it being concentrated on this one joint. Now I cut this circle out of foam, I used the weird seat cover thing that I found just laying around and my plan is to mount this foam to a plyboard backer. Once it's covered with some fabric I can then think about how we're going to attach it to this MDF board. But before we do that, this MDF board will need to be painted. In order to paint it, because it's MDF and MDF will soak up anything we will need to seal it with some wood glue. So I'm gonna mix up some wood glue and cover this whole thing in it and that should prevent the paint from soaking up into the wood. Using the circular foam and wooden backing that I cut out earlier, I've managed to make the seat cover. Now, I didn't have any material lying around the house that I thought was good enough to use, but then I found some old bandanas. 
so I've managed to make this. Now I no longer sport a bandana, so it was quite nice being able to upcycle them. All I did was sew them together in some stripes and then attached it to the wooden backing plate that I cut out earlier. Now I used a staple gun to attach them together, but I did run out of staples about halfway through. So now I'm going to finish the job off with some hot glue. Having a workshop stool is great, I've needed one for absolutely ages. And considering that we made it from scrap material and just bits and bobs that was left over from other projects, I would say that the results are pretty good. Please let me know what you think about the stool in the comments section and like and subscribe for more. If you've enjoyed this video, please share it with one other friend who you think will enjoy it too. And stay safe, I'll catch you on the next one.